Hey guys, welcome to the Todd Vlog. I'm over here in the sanctuary, and I've realized that for some of you who watch the vlog, who are not a part of Bethel, um, that I haven't really told you much about what we're doing on Christmas Eve at Bethel. You may have seen on Twitter, I've been talking about making videos or getting stuff ready. And so I thought it'd be a cool vlog just to kind of pass on to those of you who maybe are not Bethel folks, um, just kind of what we're doing, and to let you know, and really to kind of invite you, if you're in the East Texas area, if you're around Tyler and you kind of would like to be a part of this, anybody uh, can join in on what Bethel's doing. And I just wanted to put it out there to those of you who watch this who are close by. And really, as sort of a second goal, those of you who aren't close, to really ask you to pray. And let me tell you what we're doing. Um, we are not doing a Christmas Eve service this year. Uh, Bethel has tried a lot of different things on Christmas Eve. Um, and we're not really doing sort of a traditional get-together and sing sort of candlelight service. We're doing something very, very different. Um, we heard about this uh, from a church in Henderson, and we went and talked to them and found out what they do. And this really sort of appealed to where we are as a church. And so here's what's happening on Christmas Eve at Bethel this year. Um, we've put out a list, and this list has probably six or seven different uh, organizations here in the Tyler area. Um, I'm not going to be able to name them all, but just a few are the East Texas Rescue Mission, um, the Children's Advocacy Center, um, a girl's shelter, um, PATH. A lot of these ministries in Tyler who are so busy at this time of year because so many people need care. They need food. They need housing they need basic living supplies and so what we've done is we've compiled a list of needs that these ministries have and we've put it out to the church we've uh, handed out flyers every sunday it's on our church website you can look at it in the news section um, you can go to our blog our church blog that we have over on the right hand side there's a button you can get the whole list and what we're asking people to do this year is this we're asking our people between now and Christmas Eve, uh, to look at that list and to, as a family, go and buy something off that list. It might be washing detergent. It might be diapers. It might be canned goods. It might be car seats. We've got one organization that really needs car seats. And then on Christmas Eve, from 5.30 to 7, we have a time of family worship where you come. It's come and go. You can come right at 5.30. You can come later. And you come into this building and just to just to kind of give you an idea our stage uh will sort of be stripped back there won't be much on the stage it'll be pretty dark and on the stage will just be a manger we'll have some steps leading up and what we're going to do is we're going to bring our gifts to the manger as a way of being obedient to what jesus said and what he's directed us to do and caring for others and ministering to the least of these and we're going to bring those gifts to the Lord. We're going we're gonna to put them here on the stage. And our hope and our prayer is that the stage will be filled with stuff. Um, we're also going to have some really cool stuff on the screen, just a sort of guided worship experience that folks, after they put their gifts on the stage, they can sit and kind of watch and worship along with the music or the video that's happening. We're also got, going to have two communion stations where families can take communion together. And then they can go, and it's going to be a very um, focused time, but it's going to be focused on others. Now, whenever that happens, um, you've always got folks who prefer more of a, of a service, more of a, a lessons and carols type thing. And I get that, and I, I can appreciate that. But I will tell you just a confirmation that I had last week. Um, last week, I got the chance to go to one of the facilities we're helping, one of those organizations on the list. And uh, my friend was giving me a tour, and we were walking through, and um, he began to introduce me as a, as a staff member at Bethel uh, and began to tell people that this was the church that was going to do the thing. You know, hey, remember we gave that list of needs to a church? This is the church. And I will tell you um, that the way those folks looked at me and the things that they said and the ways that they reacted was more than enough confirmation for me. Um, it's my prayer that this event, this thing next week, 
uh, on Christmas Eve when my family is normally so busy and we're so focused on ourselves and we're freaking out trying to get stuff everywhere that it will be a reminder of all of those folks who are in need. Um, and so my prayer for Bethel and for you, if you are a guest and you want to come be a part of this, my prayer is that it will be a time that will force us to not think about ourselves. For me and my family, it will be a night and a time where it will be impossible to think just of ourselves. We'll have to be you know, looking at all of the stuff on stage. We'll have to be aware that these are things that are going to people in need. So if you're around and you'd like to be a part of this, please come. You can come to Bethel 5.30 to 7.00 on Christmas Eve night. I think it's going to be a great night. It's very different. It's very different than anything we've ever tried before. And we might have 20 people or we might have 500 people. We don't know, but we want this time to be really, really focused on, uh, on giving, the spirit of giving and helping. Um, if you're interested in that, you want to be a part of that, um, like I said, you can check out the list on any of the uh, websites we have, our church website, our blog. Um, you could call the church and email the church. And also here at the video, we'll just put kind of a running list. I'll let you check out. You can look at the list and see. And if you want to be a part of that, please come out. We'd love to see lots and lots of stuff on the stage back here, uh, knowing that it's going to folks who need it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Let's